E. Terra, open a new voice log entry. Acknowledge. Recording. Okay. This is Captain Liv Rhodes. Personal log entry for 7 of October 21, 26. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, All I'll right, be leaving time the center to behind play around in some and energy. making my way to my new assignment on Ceres. A bit odd, actually, saying it out loud. Anyway, all mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are a bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 RCF thruster, but Jack and I managed. Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Ross. Morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Hey. What was all that about? Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. In you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. Module D221, Manual Dexterity. I am Hera. Central AI for the Kronos 2 Orbital Mining Facility. I will guide you through this calibration program. First, close your hand to form a fist. Now extend your index finger. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Now reach out and grab the glowing disc that just appeared. When you are ready, Throw the disc into the goal in front of you. Target missed. Press the hollow button to recall the disc. Please try again. Target missed. Press the hollow button to recall the disc. Please try again. Target missed. Press the hollow button to recall the disc. Please try again. Target hit. Excellent throw. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Module M-101. Basic motor functions. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. Please take your time and follow the guide. Now carefully pull yourself forward and release to glide to the exit. Calibration module complete. Module M-205, Maneuvering Thrusters. Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters, allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. Activate left thruster. Activate right thruster. Now please exit the activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Thrusters can be used in short bursts or held down for continuous usage. Please press the hollow button near the door to proceed. Good. Now navigate the environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. Do not grab any surfaces during this test. Reboot initiated. Reminder. Please do not touch any surfaces in the hallway. Reboot initiated. Reminder, please do not touch any surfaces in the hallway.
thruster calibration at 50%. Calibration module complete. Module C-111. Communication. We will now calibrate your communication system. When someone speaks to you, a reply notification may appear above your wrist. You may then respond by holding down the dialog button on either hand and selecting a reply with your index finger. Hold down the dialog button now. Input confirmed. Now hold down the dialog button and select a reply. Understood. Good. Continuing calibration. Often you will have a limited time to select a reply. In these cases, silence is considered a viable option. Do you understand? Acknowledged. I'm ready to proceed. Understood. Continuing calibration. Now exit the activation pod and move into the room ahead. You can also initiate conversations at points of interest throughout the world. If you look at certain people or objects while you are close to them, their name will appear and an icon will indicate that you can use the dialog button. You may then hold down the dialog button and select an option, just like a reply. Now start a conversation with the labor unit and speak about the Fury transport model in this room. Unit 42, what is your primary directive? To assure the safety and well-being of Kronos 2 station personnel. Who serves aboard the Kronos 2 station? Captain Olivia Rhodes and you, the prototype Series 11 android designated as Echo-1. Please talk about the two points of interest in the room to continue. A Mark I Fury transport, 148 scale. Be advised, while real Fury transports can be used to travel to distant locations across the Kronos 2 station, I do not recommend attempting to ride this one. Noted. Communication system fully calibrated. Would you like to proceed to the next module? I'm ready to proceed. Acknowledged. Please stand by. Module A-131, Data Scanner. Error. Calibration program failure. Stand by for reboot. Ready to be pushed into my fully automated deep space mine. The company's fifth priority. Your Echo unit is the perfect subject for our initial test runs. This is crap. I'm one week from leaving and you're just now telling... Jack? Sorry, I have to go. Kronos 2 out. Jack? What happened? My calibration program crashed. Please let me I out. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before. It must have suspended the pod's release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level 3 inspection of... You're all set. Listen, about my conversation with command, how much did you overhear? I heard enough to know I'm no longer going with you to Serex. Seems you've earned yourself a promotion. The directors want you to take over my duties as station commander. You'll be in charge. That would make this our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... 
They just... They hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Except... I'm sorry, Jack. There's no need to apologize, Olivia. While the situation is unfortunate, it's not your fault. I don't know. No sense putting it off. Let's get our last week started. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? Copy that. Your swear count has not increased for nearly 10 hours. Congratulations. Oh, quit playing with that damn thing. I mean, shit. Never mind. This is an official Echo Arena disc. Where did you acquire it? My dad got it for me at a match back in Juno. You know, you'd probably be pretty good at it. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to play? Occasionally. I do find the game's strategies intriguing. You should give it a go sometime with the labor unit. It'd be good for you to have a hobby. 23 to 11. It would appear I'm going to win. Again. Now hold on. I've still got seven days. Plenty of time to stage my epic comeback. Considering the significant difference between our two scores and given your win-loss record, I would estimate the odds of you staging an epic comeback are approximately 3,725 to 1. Wow, Jack, that is... That is just some of the worst trash talk I've ever heard. Will you get a plaque to commemorate your own tenure as captain, Liv? What? Why would I get a plaque? The first captain of this station received one, and your performance has exceeded his by every metric. That's not really how it works, Jack, but I appreciate the sentiment. Liv, if you keep consuming this snack food, you risk getting a cavity. I can't help it. They're the only thing edible up here. I could dispose of them if you like. Don't you dare. This model is meant to depict an S8 labor unit, is it not? That's right. Why? There's something wrong with it. It is highly inaccurate. Sort of the joke, Jack. I failed to find the humor in erroneous proportions. Of course you would. Would you like me to archive this list for you? That way we could remove this note. No, thanks. I actually like a bit of clutter. Makes it feel more like home. I am well aware of this fact. Are you calling me messy? Yes. Based on every known definition of the word, you, Olivia Rhodes, are messy. Nonsense. I see no mess here. Just organized chaos. Why do you find these creatures appealing? Bulldogs are a symbol of the British spirit. We don't want to know when the odds are against us. Ah. Sounds familiar. Oh, shut up, Jack. Are you going to leave these behind? I haven't really thought about it. Why, do you want to keep them? And what purpose would I have for toy dinosaurs? Nothing to remember them again. You forget my memory is archived. I can 
remember you anytime I wish. Suit yourself. I won't be the same. The primary control panel. I can active. Transitioning to daytime cycle. going to miss this part. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Just give me a moment to soak in this view. Take your time. Jack, you're blocking my view. You seem upset. You're getting way too good at reading human responses, you know that. Well, I have had a few years of practice. Yeah, it shows. We do have an especially striking view of Saturn this morning. Almost like it's showing off. Do you happen to know what gives the planet its unique color? I do not. Please, tell me. Ammonia crystals in the upper atmosphere react with... You're just humoring me, aren't you? I know how much you like to answer your own questions. Thanks, Jack. Command splitting us up. It, it bothers you. I just thought you'd be coming with me, is all. No assignment is ever permanent. I would think you'd know that better than anyone. Well, that's certainly true. It is entirely possible that we will work together again sometime in the future. Maybe. Here's hoping. So, Jack, I suppose congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days, you'll be Captain Jack. So, congratulations, Captain Jack. What I mean is, as an Echo Unit, I hold no official rank, so technically I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have no... What was that? Jack, did you feel that? What the hell? Please tell me you can see that. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. <laughs> I believe so. You were glitching out. The disturbance briefly disrupted my internal systems, but I'm not reading any permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Hera, initiate board spectrum scan. Focus on the following coordinates. Should we report the disturbance to command? No, not yet. First, let's get a handle on the situation. Fire up the hollow table and let's get a sit rep. Hera, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledged. Isolating. Awaiting input. Saturn Orbital Zone Beta. Orbital Mining Facility. Designation Kronos 2.
central mining station. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? How the hell did we... Oh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you? Here we are. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this CubeSat? I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. <coughs> Module A-131, Data Scanner. Your scanning tool allows you to collect data on anything in the environment. Please exit the pod to begin calibrating it. Please follow me to the disk spawner at the back of the room. Now activate your scanner by pressing the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Good. Now aim the scanner at the I.O. port on the disk spawner and hold the trigger to initiate a scan. After scanning something, its name will appear next to your hand on the scanner's data tab. To see the results of your scan, grasp the tab and pull it away from your hand. Hold the data tab now. Excellent. Use the button on top of your hand to deactivate the scanner now. Good. To complete this module, gather scan data on five other materials or objects. Four scans remaining. Initiating human sarcasm. I thought we were friends, Echo One. Three scans remaining. Must scan additional objects or materials to complete this calibration module. Two scans remaining. One scan remaining. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. All set? Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well, problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Right then, on to the real problems. What do you think? What's next? Hera, status update on your scan of the anomaly. Scan currently 3% complete. 3%? What's the problem? The sensor network is attempting to perform a full spectrum scan of an unknown entity. It might take a while. Lovely. 
Well, in the meantime, we've got three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. What do you say we get started on those repairs? Good idea. I need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. Good morning, Hera. Good morning, Echo One. Status report, please. Damage detected to multiple systems. Captain Olivia Rhodes has scheduled repairs. Please see the captain for your assignment. Attachment detected. Unit 12, are you all right? You can't Were you damaged by that space. pulse? Status report. Negligible damage received to internal coolant you systems. Also All other systems, bags. nominal. Good. Proceed with your current assignment. A Permeco unit appears unstable in zero gravity. I'm still not certain how these are used. Another one of Liv's hobbies. I suppose its care will fall to me once she departs. These are all items I have given to Liv. She appears to have kept them in excellent condition. Stop. Play. Stop. Based on the wear of this brush head, you should have replaced it several days ago. Yes, thank you, Jack. Would you like to create a dental care schedule for me while you're at it? Very well. Setting reminder for joking, Jack. Joking. There will be no use for this equipment once the station is fully automated. My own motor functions do not atrophy. Do you think you'll visit Earth now that you've been transferred to the inner planets? I've thought about it. It'd be nice to finally see London. Hmm. Where your parents are from. Right. My father never could stop being in our favors. He never called it by name, and it was just the city. We both were the only one that had ever existed. Olivia and her family. She doesn't like to talk about this photo. Fortunately, this backup echo unit appears to be functional. I can transfer to it if necessary. This echo unit pod is damaged as well. If no echo unit pods are functional and my shell suffers a hardware failure, I would have to revert to an old version of my OS on the station's server. Ready to go? Yes, let's get started. Great. Not the best way to start our last week. I don't believe we've ever seen this many malfunctions all at the same time. 
We've also never had an unidentified spatial anomaly suddenly appear directly off our port bow. Stir crossed, really. You do realize it's possible we just made a groundbreaking scientific discovery. Well, let's not go writing our Nobel acceptance speeches just yet. Well, at least, not until we're certain the station isn't going to fall apart. An encrypted audio file. Curious. When the anomaly scrambled the CubeSat, it inadvertently connected them to a secure Atlas Corporation network. If I scan more of them, I may be able to crack the encryption. Bioregeneration systems in this sector are still functional. These samples are in no danger. Hopefully the flora in the oxygen garden are also unharmed. Warning, unsecured cargo in the hold. Yeah, that much I worked out. Can you tell me why we have unsecured cargo in the hold? Negative. Okay, well, we might want to look into that. All right, Jack. Looks like there's a lot to do this morning. Any priority alerts? Send the data to my ARM computer. I'll have a look. I'm starting to crack the encryption. If I find more CubeSats, I should be able to save the completed audio file to my ARM computer. That will let me share any files I find with Liv once I've gathered enough information. I need to open my ARM computer. Before I can do anything else, I need to slide open my ARM computer. Expecting me to open my ARM computer before we get started. Let's see. Take a look at your objectives on your ARM computer and let me know which one you want to address first. Let's fix the power failure in the oxygen garden. Okay, follow me. Standard Atlas Corporation cargo containers, magnetically secured. We are in trouble shooting this problem yet. I should follow Liv. Looks like the power failure knocked out the door to the oxygen garden. I'll pull the manual release. And of course, the access panel is stuck. 
Jack, I think you're gonna have to cut through. I'll need to calibrate my reactive cutter first. Right. Considering the power outage, let's also calibrate your entry light. Module A, 901. Reactive cutter. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the door ahead. Activate your reactive cutter by pressing the glowing touch point on the underside of your wrist. Highlighting cuttable surface. Use the reactive cutter to cut through the highlighted brackets. Please cut through the highlighted brackets to proceed. Cutter functionality test complete. Lift open the door to proceed. Highlighting cuttable surface. Use your reactive cutter to cut out a portion of the highlighted panel. Once you have cut away enough of the panel, press the hollow button to complete this calibration module. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Module H-144, Helmet Visor. You can open and close your helmet visor by pressing the button on the left side of your helmet with your index finger. Please open your helmet visor now. Now please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. You can activate your headlamp by pressing a button on the right side of your helmet. Once your headlamp is on, shine it on my location. Well done. I am moving to new coordinates in the next room. Find me and shine your headlamp on my location. Excellent. Please press the button on the right side of your helmet to turn off the headlamp and complete the module. Calibration module complete. Reactive cutter and headlamp calibrated successfully. Copy that. Cut through the access panel so we can pull the door release handle. Excellent, follow me. Let's get started. Careful! Yes, Jack? Hmm. Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Can you use your headlamp to help me find the electrical grid maintenance panel? Affirmative. Despite the damage, the test groups appear unharmed. Olivia, I've located the maintenance panel. Perfect. Keep your light on it for a moment while I remove the cover. Heads up, Jack. Coming through. Looks like we've got some fused wiring. Status report? The short caused a full system crash. We'll need to reset each of the environmental controls. Can you find the emergency junction while I sort out this mess? How are you feeling? A little better now. 
I'm distracting myself by making a list of ways I can sneak you off the scene. So far, I'm down to hiding you in my luggage. That sounds uncomfortable. Well, I'd disassemble you first. I stand by my previous statement. You will certainly be leaving Kronos 2 with a vast surplus of duct tape, Liv. That's because duct tape fixes everything. Everything? What? You don't think so? No, it can't. I have repair schematics for over 50,000 hardware profiles, and none of them mention duct tape. Well, you're just not being creative enough. As you say, Captain. Let's get the junction online so we can start the diagnostics. I've reached the junction cover. Did you bring a spanner? Just cut through the bolts. We can deal with the cleanup after we figure out what's wrong with the station. Affirmative. Going hot. Electronic interface. I'll need to use my scanner to link up with the I.O. port. Emergency power online. The backup conduit only has enough juice to diagnose one system at a time. Go ahead and get started when you're ready. The O2 mixture is off. I'll need to adjust the levels of atmospheric exchange. Careful with that, Jack. One of us still has to breathe the air here for the next few days. Bio-regenerative systems calibrated. CO2 capture optimized for both plant and mammalian passengers. Mammalian, huh? How flattering. Apologies, Liv. I didn't mean to sound... clinical. Once I'm gone, you'll probably be able to shut down this part of the brain. I think I'll keep it, actually. To add color. Jack, you aren't starting to enjoy botany, are you? Is that unusual? Depends who you ask. Use the junction to select another system. The alert must have shut down water flow to the hydroponic systems. Water flow restored. Irrigation system within operating parameters. Tackle the last system. The transformer can't form a complete circuit. We probably need to realign the coils. Run a scan to confirm. The coils have been damaged. Hmm, shit. Unlock them so we can get a closer look. I can't move the coils with the locking mechanism engaged. Conversion coils unlocked. As long as we can still form one complete row, we should be able to get the transformer back online. Power current stabilized. Conversion process successful. Current strong. Nice job. Once I finish replacing these wires, we should be able to get the lights on. Hera, verify all oxygen garden subsystems. Subsystems within normal parameters. Right. I'm about done here. Do you see the access panel near me? I see the access panel. Good.
You'll need to wait and throw the main breaker on my mark. Got it? Acknowledged. I will await your command before throwing the breaker. Removing utility cover. Please stand by. I've got to pump the primer handle before you throw the breaker. Let me know when you're ready and I'll count us down. On your command. Acknowledged. Throw the switch in three, two, one. I'm clear. Oxygen garden operational. Environmental control systems restored. That's one more system we don't have to worry about. Hopefully it stays that way. Don't jinx it, Jack. There's no wood to knock on around here. Do you mind? Well, there's still the ground fault in the cargo bay and the temperature spike in core containment. What's next on the agenda? Let's get the cargo bay squared away. Okay. Follow me. One of the cargo banks must be malfunctioning. We probably blew a fuse. I'd start by checking the fuse compartment at each cargo bank. Hera, unlock them, please. Just don't pull any good fuses, or we'll have loads more cleanup to do. This lever locks the cargo in place in case of a power failure. I can't put this away until all the fuses are functional. I think I've located the problem. This fuse is blown. We'll need a replacement. Affirmative. Wait there, I'll bring you a new one from the supply drawers. This should do it. Thank you. Got you covered. Power flow restored. Maglock's coming online. Copy that. Go ahead and secure the cargo. I should put this away. Athena, bring out the next candidate, please. Echo program candidate number 37. Lieutenant Rhodes, Olivia J. Ah, now this one's promising. Accepted into the USN Aerospace Academy at 16. Exemplary marks in engineering, geology, robotics. <laughs> the elite stuff. All the versatility you could want on an astronaut. The USN even approached her for the five years initiative, but she declined. I'm not interested in Strong contact on the maglocks. That's one down. Site profile. That's one more to go. Cargo secure. Let's lock the system down to make sure this doesn't happen again. I'll throw the lockdown lever. Probably had to look after him a lot with two scientists for parents. That's just what we need for Echo One. She's perfect. Lockdown engaged. Thanks, Jack. I feel better already. Let's move on, shall we? That just leaves the temperature spike in core containment. Follow me, Jack. Liv, is this your EVA helmet? It's just a spare. Don't worry about it. Find anything? Nothing conclusive. Your body is radiation hardened. Care to take a look inside? I'll see what I can ascertain. Hera, disable all containment safety protocols and unseal the hatch. Acknowledged. Awaiting manual operation. Head on in. I'll see you on the other side. yourself in before we can expose the cause, Jack. I should finish calibrating my radiation shield before we continue. Acknowledged. Standing by. 
Module A, 251, Radiation Shield. Your scanner can detect hazardous radiation fields capable of damaging you. Please activate your scanner and use it to assess the irradiated area ahead. Your scanner places tracking points that display the area's radiation level. When you are ready to proceed, please exit the activation pod. Your radiation shield will protect you for a limited time. A shield meter is located on both of your wrists below your arm computer. You can use this to monitor your shield levels. Now please use your scanner to find the least hazardous route through the room and reach the exit. Shields at 95%. your shield faster. The radiation monitor on your wrist displays the radiation level of your current location. Please keep it in mind. Shields at 50%. Shields at 30%. If your shield is depleted, your body will suffer irreparable damage. Please be careful. Reboot initiated. My shield can only absorb so much radiation before sustaining irreparable damage. Shields at 95%. Use your scanner to navigate the radiation field and make it to the other side. Shields at 50%. You can draw energy from induction panels to replenish your radiation shield. This module will complete when your shield is fully recharged. Please pull the handle toward you to begin recharging. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Radiation shield fully operational. Copy that. Let's get started by opening the core enclosures. The code is 5826. Authorization accepted. Warning. Radiological activity detected. Oh. That explains the temperature spike. At least one of the fusion cores is leaking radiation. Your scanner should help you zero in on the source. Hmm, pretty far off the mark. Try scanning somewhere else. Nice shot. I'd say that warrants a closer look. I'll activate the I.O. port so you can scan it to open the enclosure. Enclosure unlocked. We need to scan the individual cores to determine which is causing the problem. Micro fractures in the fuel assembly. Radiation at unsafe levels. That could contaminate the entire fuel reserve. We'll need to jettison the core. To unlock it, enter 6102 at the central console. Core released. Bring it to the disposal conduit at the bottom of the chamber. Once you open the conduit, you'll need to seat the core into the launch tube and use the lever to eject it. Keep an eye on your shield levels while you're in transit. Emergency disposal conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. Awaiting manual confirmation. Radioactive material jettisoned. The area is still irradiated. There has to be another damaged core. Check the other enclosures. I'll keep looking. A second 
Diamond Hotspot. I'm activating the I.O. port so you can check the enclosure. Shields at 95%. This core is similarly damaged. Bloody hell. It has to go. Punch in 7641 at the central console to unlock it. Same routine here. Run it to the disposal conduit and jettison the core. Emergency disposal conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. Awaiting manual confirmation. Radioactive material, Jensen. Radiation levels returning to normal. Thank God for that. Looks like we live to fight another day. Let's shut the enclosure so we can get you out of there. Re-enter the code in the center console. 5826. Core containment re-engaged. Hmm. You're looking a bit worse for wear. Maybe you should use your arm computer to upload to another shell? Initiating the annual reboot. Reboot in it. I'll meet you on the other side, by the hatch. Sharp, Jack. Did you get dolled up for me? I know you like it when I look my best. Such a gentleman. Chamber temperature is back within normal limits. Nice job in there, Jack. Thank you. All right, that ought to do it. We're all set. Hey, Jack. High five. There you go. I appreciate the help, Jack. That's what I'm here for. And here I thought it was to keep me from going round the bend. That is also true. As your echo unit, I am charged with ensuring your safety and well-being. That includes monitoring your demeanor for signs of mental instability. You're joking. No, not at all. Were I not here, it is entirely possible you'd have thrown yourself out of an airlock by now. Statistically speaking, of course. Okay. There's a thought that's going to linger. Thanks for that. Captain Rhodes, full spectrum scan of the anomaly is complete. All right, Hera. Push the results to the hollow table in the EVA staging area. Acknowledged. Come on, Jack. Let's go have a look at the results. Maybe we'll learn something useful about this anomaly of ours. That does seem likely, considering we currently know nothing at all. Hmm, suppose I can't argue with that. Hera, status report. Status, green. All systems nominal. Well. That's good news. But what about our anomaly? Where is it? Hera, display the anomaly's current location. Acknowledged. Ah, there we go. Wait, hang on. Hera, is this image to scale? Affirmative. So the anomaly has increased in size. Not a good sign. Let's get a closer look. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Curious. I can't make head nor tail out of any of this data. What about you? The data appears to have been corrupted somehow. It's the same for all the readings. Spectrometer, interferometer, LIDAR. All rubbish. 
Interference from the anomaly must be disrupting the transmission signal. So, our sensor network is useless. What now? I'll exit the station and investigate the anomaly up close. Absolutely not. If I use my scanner, I can bypass the sensor network. I'll be able to examine the data in real time. We've seen what that thing can do to your systems. What if you get shut down out there? I'm specifically designed for operation in hazardous environments. It only makes sense. Besides, we need to determine the nature of this anomaly. And I suggest we do so quickly. Okay. Okay, well... No sense wasting any more time, then. Let's get you into the airlock, sharpish. Caution. Airlock opening. <laughs> 